What's up guys? Matt here, Rolling Heavy Magazine. Well, today we're working on something near and dear to my heart. Slider extenders for third gen Chevys. Now, if you know me, there's one thing I'm really not into. That's called gullwing in your side door on your van. For practical purposes, it makes zero sense. You gotta go to Home Depot, you gotta go to Lowe's on a busy day. Good luck loading into your side door because you gotta know where to park except for that one slot that's open. Just to make a lot of sense. Like if you're gonna go full blown custom and like, you know, World of Wheels build on your van, Sure, throw a going on there. It's a wow factor. It's ooh and ah. For practicality's sake, going in your door makes no sense at all, and it's actually better to have your slider. So that's what we're gonna do here. Um, I've got these two slider extenders that I had in inventory. The top one's obviously an earlier chrome one. The bottom one's a later one. But the problem is, is that the one on the top got sold to my buddy Mike, who needs a slider extender for a later third gen Chevy. The bottom one is gonna go on an early third gen Chevy project up in Washington. So what we gotta do is we gotta take the bottom paw, put it on the top bar. And then flip a roo. So that's what we're gonna do when we're doing the old switcheroo on the on the mounts for these two slider extenders today. I'll show you how easy it is. It's literally a 916 half inch hammer, vice is helpful, some WD 40, flathead screwdriver, near your sugar, well, maybe a beer or two. But you're styling, it's not it's gonna go real quick. The biggest trouble you're gonna have is just stuff getting jammed up, so you just gotta soak it in some WD. But here we go, check it out. This is what we're gonna do. All right guys, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna basically take this part off here. We're gonna take this part off here. We're gonna switch a roo. This one's going back together with this one. This one's going back together with this one. Then we have two slider strings we can use. So let's start on this. First thing we wanna do is we wanna get the spring off. Just fucking wiggle it just a little bit. Gotta wiggle this thing out. There we go. Spring is out. Okay, now what we're gonna do is go over here. We're gonna figure out if this is 9 16 or half inch. It's gotta be half inch. Yep, we're half inch, there we go. So we're just gonna take this bolt off. Over there, put this right here. So we're gonna take that bolt off. Or nut, if you wanna get technical. Okay, then we're gonna basically go over here. We're gonna move this WD-40. Take this over here. Do this. Knock that in. Then we're gonna just knock this out. There we go. Pop this up. We can, but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. There we go. And boom, we're through. Okay. So. See how that looks right there? It's all just one piece, nice. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this out. Move this over here. Put it right there, that's fine. We already know how that goes back together. It's not a big deal. Then we're gonna take this one, do the same thing. We're gonna over to the vise. Oh, actually, hold on, got ahead of ourselves. Take the spring out. That'll make our lives a lot easier. Go nice, it's out. So take this over here, lock this down a little bit on the ear, which is fine. Ooh, this one's on there. Hold on, there we go. Got it. There we go. there there we go that slides out now here's what we're gonna do it's gonna get real crazy I know so that's for that we're gonna take this one I'm just gonna slide it right back in I know it's nuts but that's what we're gonna do. Hold on, let me do this. Line up the hole. There we go. Let's do one of these hippity dippities. We are in. Put this back in there. go this back 
back on. Cha 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 cha. Go. Tighten this up. Tight enough. All right, that comes out. And then all those parts now are for that right there. That goes to that. And then we're going to go do the same thing we just did to this one and put it all right back together. Let's do that right now. So ultimately, when this goes in, it wants to be like that. So we're going to do this. You back in. We're gonna slide you in. There we go. Now what you want to do is you want to get this up in the air, a little bit like this. Just kind of find where it wants to be. Find out where it wants to be. Let's just put this back in here. How about that? That'd make our lives a little bit easier, wouldn't it? Hold on a second. Let that fall. Let's do this. There we go, okay. So this is gonna go right chia. Okay. Coming over here with this duder. Let me do, actually hold on a second. I do wanna take this out so I can see better. Put that right there, there we go. And we're gonna slide this up in here now. our axis. There we go. Nice. Got it. Okay, cool. Get up in there. Stay up in there. Put you back in. And you go back on top of here. Oh, wait, you know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. Um, shit. See how I can figure, actually, it'll be fine, fuck it. Okay, let's just, just tighten this up. tight and there we go and now that's gonna go there that's gonna go there the chrome has got the white paw for the later third gen Chevy the painted ones got the earlier paw for what we need for the earlier third gen Chevy win 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 all right we won Okay guys, and that's it. Uh, pretty simple process. All we're doing was changing over the paws on each of these slider extenders so they work with per van. Check it out, it's right here. We got the chrome slider extender with the new paw. We got the new slider extender with the old paw. The top one's gonna go on a late model third gen Chevy. The bottom one's gonna go on our uh, early third gen Chevy project van up in Washington. A lot more videos coming on that early third gen project van from Washington, stay tuned. But yeah, all we used was half inch socket, 916 socket, screwdriver, hammer, pin punch, vise and a bottle of beer and that's it we got it all done so check it out don't be scared to buy a, th a slider extender that's not for your van you can make it work hell right here late third gen chevy slider bar right there we could use that for parts if we needed to that's why we had it but we didn't need to get everything worked out that's it we're getting back to work we'll talk to you later have a great one if you uh, haven't please like share and subscribe you know, ring the bell click all that stuff whatever it all helps us grow the channel all right guys we'll talk to you later appreciate it thanks see you bye